Welcome back. I hope you're ready for more Dota 2 action here in Western Europe. And it's going to be, I think, it, probably one of the best series of the entire event here. Avalus coming up against Nigma Galaxy. Um, you're very good. Oh, top lane. Is he coming up for the kill? Though Jimmy's going to get really down low. The raise, it picks up. Miracle will get that first blood. But GH, can he run himself away? It's going to be a two for... What? Okay, a two for two. Everyone was going to die at exactly the same time. <laughs> no, but it just shows, you know, um, oh, okay, they're going to be able to get the kill. Omar's going to get really down low into this one. Suneko, yeah, with the Alpha Wolf, we'll be able to get the kill there. Avalus, honestly, the laning stage is not the biggest deal for them. As long as it's what's going to happen, what's going to matter is when they get the double Bloodstone. Oh, yeah. Chanel. Chanel's going to be in danger now. Can he get himself away from this one? It's going to be a lot of damage coming through. It looks like they might be able to give it over to Storm Summon now as well. They do get the kill. It's going to be traded back oh. onto Eki, but Omar, you know, it's going to be, I think it was actually a tower that gave it, so it's going to be split between the two heroes as assists. Uh, half a minute at most. He's going to be fine with this one. It's Miracle. Is he going to be chased down here? Flame Break comes out. Was that Burrow Strike? I think it might be a low level Burrow Strike here. So Jibe, he's going to go underneath the tower. With this one did you get the damage after to get the kill the raise is coming through as well there's gonna be the rotations coming out do they get the kill they do but miracle he gets you made down first and now the cogs come out but who's trapped in there with who is it trying to get the damage out onto gh gh gonna run himself away from this one smiling knight he does get the kill with those just quills popping out left right and center and noob the only hero left here so everybody rotating up to this top lane Smiling Knight knows what's up, by the way. They have a beautiful ward in that cliff right there. I think they're smoked up, but somehow he's like, no one showed up for a while. Yo. Okay, Sonic Wave. They do get a kill storm. So now there's going to be the TPs in, but it looks like it's only to be Samel. A long one on Oma, though. And then she builds items to help her tank up, right? You get like yeah. a huge raindrop, a fluffy hat, so you can build later. Oh! Yeah. Zabe, nice dodge. Are you gonna be able to? Come right back into this one. The cogs will be here. JT runs himself out. The reds are gonna be here now as well. Do they have the damage? You're gonna be able to take down Eki. Jibe as well. Miracle with the double kill. Hung around just a little bit too long there on the side of Avalus. Maybe got a little bit too cocky. Omar not gonna burn out the 40 health to his name though. And gotta be really careful about backing himself away. Smart Knight. He rotates up, but then so does Noob. He's going to try and go for the TP, instantly cancelled off by the Rolling Thunder. And can he walk himself away from this one? He's got a lot of health, whether his teammates trying to maybe come in to his aid. So there's going to be the TP in from the Bat Rider here. And Smile Knight, he's not going to go down super ill. I'll say that. Look at the burst damage coming through there. A miracle. He gets another kill on the board. Um... Push down the towers. Here another hook shot coming out now. They're gonna try and get on top of Eki again. Eki's gonna get caught out. Do they have enough for the kill? They absolutely do. Stormstorm with the back lines. The Sonic Wave. It's not enough. Both supports are low. But they can't finish the job here. Stormstorm doesn't want to dive himself in. Smiling Knight was leading. He's 3,000 gold behind Miracle. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, Tornado comes out, Suneko's gonna be in trouble here, can he get himself away? That Spirit Vessel is out, so the Wisps, the heals, it's not gonna be doing a whole lot until that wears off. Sunstrike comes through as well, do they have enough to get the kill? It looks like the double shield crash, it's still not enough! He will finally go down, Noob gets the kill. Gonna be the 24th to the 26th, a live event going on here for the Wet Boom Dacha. Uh, and massive prize pool coming on as it might be a massive fight kicking off now as well. Do they want to try and go? They're gonna be the last sort of drive back, they get it onto the clockwork. Do they have the damage to take him down? They don't. He is gonna be able to get that hook shot away. Suneko taking a lot as well. And Noob, he takes down Eki. Sonic Wave comes out. Samil gets low, but he's not gonna be killed off just yet. Omar's gonna be the first one to go down on the side of NGX, as well as uh, Eki on the side of Avalus. Can they get any more from this one? Rolling Thunder will be used, but Noob doesn't connect to anybody now. Suneko. Well, he's got those heals up once again for his teammates. I didn't get a chance to click on his items because we are watching this guy from this from the TV, so we can't click on him. I can't even see the passage for this guy. Do they have enough to take it down? Tornado will connect here. Noob as well. Samel gonna group up onto him. There's gonna be the hookshot coming through. The lockdown onto the Sand King. Sand King is just gonna get absolutely deleted here. Yeah, okay, Miracle, he sees Storm Stormer, is he gonna go for the ultimate, try and go for this pickoff here? Storm Stormer though, he's got the dust reveal, those spidey senses, they were tingling. So Storm Stormer gonna try and do what he can, is there gonna be that jump away? Requiem does get used, there's gonna be that fear, but the BKB, the lasso comes out here from the Power Rider. Do you have enough to get the kill onto Miracle? Miracle's gonna try and sustain himself through this one. The race is coming through now, so that BKB though is gonna be wearing off in the next couple of seconds, so the damage coming out, it will be enough, and the Death Requiem, enough, no, not enough to take Storm Stormer down with him. Uh, it's like you want vision, you go in, buddy. Uh, right here. Smoke up, though, from Avalus. Who can they find? There's also smoke up from NGX, and Aki breaks it. Yeah, Aki's gonna go down really down quickly. Did they want to carry on fighting? This is when the Rolling Thunder does come through. Do you have the damage to take him down now? Smiling Knight is gonna try and back himself away. Well, he is gonna be feared now as well. Do you see have the uh, sustain coming through? Because there is gonna be the Spirit Vessel now as well onto the back lines. It looks like the clock will take a lot of damage here as the Bristleback tries to do what he can with that shot. It doesn't matter. The damage coming through. He is dead and buried. And he might be able to go for more onto the NGX. Do they want to try and go for a quicker initiation? They don't. So they will do get. get 
the two kills. Samil is going to go for the Hurricane Pike. Yeah. We're all in on right click on this one. Okay. Oh, the hook coming in. GH. He finds a bite rider. I mean, you were just talking about it. Sunstrike onto Aki. He's going to go down against Noob. Gets the credit for the kill. Uh, courier. That's nice. That's a, that's going to give as much gold as a tower. <laughs> is it going to give as much gold as Aki here? Because uh, the amount of times he's been caught out, he's going to try and get himself away once again. But with the, again, the Spirit Vessel double shield crash, Noob will get the kill. Oh, Storm Summer could be in trouble. He does have his TP though, the blink away. He just needs to find a nice quiet place to use that. Ooh, I mean, they are smoked out. They want to look for this one here. But where's that Bat Rider? He looked like he might be able to get a jump out. Can he get the kill to Eki? He's on his way from two. That Lotus Storm is up though, but he still gets taken down. Smart Knight will get the credit for the kill. A little bit, a little like, oh, we gotta protect everything we have. It's like, nah, you can give them a tower and take a Rax. Uh, oh, I'm hearing the accent. Yes, man, I see the person on board here. He's going to drive back coming up from the EMP as well. Do we have enough damage? Miracle, he pops up PKB, and it looks like Smile Knight going to take a lot of damage from this one. The fear, the control coming through. Miracle does get the kill. Heck, he's going to fall to Omar now. It's all the wrong thing to come out. And Noob, he's looking for revenge right off his respawn. They do connect onto the Sanka here. Jibby going to be in a lot of trouble. And it's going to be three heroes dead on the side of Avalus for no return here. NGX, and now this is going to be big. No buybacks as well onto these three heroes. Really? I don't think I've ever seen him use it even once. <laughs> um, I think he's used it twice. Fortification will be used, but again, Alaxi out. You've got the BKB. You've got this Aegis here. You've got the Daedalus for yeah, Miracle. And uh, let's see if he tries to hit this one. It comes in, but it isn't going to be close. It's not really going to be too much here. As Miracle just stands inside of it, the hookshot comes out now as well. This is going to be a great drive by EMP comes through. It's going to force Avalus back once again. Miracle he gets a Requiem off. They've got the fear. They've got the control. The Rolling Thunder on the back lines now as well. Smile Knight is going to try and do it. He can zone BKB. The Sonic Wave, it does pop the Aegis. Can they go for more of this one? Because Noob, he's going to be last out. They've got the control out. Can they get the kill Noob now? It looks like well, the Sunstrike comes out onto Stormstormer. He does dodge this one off. Noob, he's going to get low. He will be taken down. Batrider is already gone. This Rax is going to crumble in the lane once again. It looks like Miracle he might just try and turn this one back around here. Does he still have the BKB? No. It has been used by the Shadow Fiend. So he might try and get the jump here. Jade's going to get really down low. Omar falls to Stormstormer though. The Yosef comes out. Excuse me, Tornado comes out. And he will get the kill. Stormstormer goes down. Gem on the deck. Can he get the kill into Miracle though? This is going to be a big commit from the side of Avalos. And it looks like Jibbe. One more right click. They do take down the Sand King. So Nako, he has to jump himself back. Smile Knight Snake Up, the only two left alive on the side of Avalus. Looks like NGX, so they are going to give this one up. Yeah, and Samir, he doesn't have any kills, but he's, but he's only got died one time, and you feel like you know, he's just being thrown out these fantastic oh. MPs. Last oh, drive right now, the Lotus Sub is up onto the Shadow Team. The Shadow Team Miracle is going to be straight up dead. The Cogs come out from GH, but GH, what can he really do? The F Center going to be doing a little bit of work now. GH, can he get himself away from this one? Noob, going to try and roll himself out. Jibbe will fall. It's going to be a two for one. Can they go for more? Do they have the gem to reveal anything? Some mail, nothing to break the TP. Some mail will be able to get himself away. Curse Crown's done out into Smiling Knight. Snakeo is on the chase. Going to be able to get that D ward out, but Omar, not going to be in vision. It is nighttime, so they won't see the Dark Willow. But they want to go for this last lane of rights. They want the Mega Creeps out, but. TP's coming back. Eki's are going to look for Miracle once again. He's going to be able to get something to break that Lincoln's here. It's going to be Jimmy jumping in with the episode to go now. So the hookshot comes through with a pushback from the Sonic Wave. Oh, great pushback now. Noob with the Roman Thunder, but Miracle is going to be able to stand his ground. He does have that heal coming out with the BKB going there as well. Curse Crown Stun comes out. It's going to be stunned onto two. Noob, is he a little bit too far forward here from the rest of his team? The Roman Thunder does wear off. Can he get himself away? The Raccoon comes through to, to help him just get out of there. But overall. Big spend, and Eki has to buy back there as well. Still has that lasso if you want to chase. Even harder to get the drag back here for the Batrider. They rider. have two Lincolns. So okay, so the wave comes out. Miracle. Three, four stuffed out. Once again, the Lotus Orb is right on top of him here. Stormstormer blinks himself in. Tornado will, will connect now onto the Queen of Pain. Do they have the fear? There's going to be the hookshot coming through the BKB. Stormstormer can he get himself out of this one. The BKB will let him blink out of this. So, do you want to go for more? There is going to be the flame break here onto Miracle. Mir Miracle going to be bounced around. Smiling at the Curse Crown will take effect, but no real follow up here onto the Bristleback. Man, it's so tense. Avalos, they're like, we can take a fight, we can just really force it. Yeah, okay, they do break, but again, the Lotus Orb coming through. There is going to be the coming through with a great burst strike now as well, but Miracle, he's got that BKB sustain with the Satanic coming out, and Smile Knight, going to try and do what he can. Jibby is dead and buried. He has that buyback. Going to have to use it here. Oh, do we have the kill on Smile Knight? Smile Knight, no buyback. Neither does Seneco, and they're going to make a backline dive here onto the Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain, that BKB is down on Jibby. He's already just bought back. Is that going to be a dieback here? Onto, that doesn't matter. The, la the, excuse me, the GG gets called. Lasso comes out here from the Bat Rider. But the game is already over. Uh, well done, honestly, by both teams. Think by Galaxy, they perfectly executed their idea. This lane. Hmm.
Yeah, I think the only person who has to be really worried would be Zibe. You know, Eki can jump mm -hmm. away, Miracle can... Wow, Miracle's taking a few hits, and... Should be fine, though. I was gonna say Eki should be fine, but I don't know about it. He's really trading. Miracle now, Power Shot comes through. Who gets oh, first one? Miracle oh. gets it. This is a six. Oh, Sumail's here. Oh yeah, gonna go for an early rotation. Gonna be able to connect here. All to the Marana. The Marana gonna go down. Eki just picking up where he left off in that last game, which is not a good thing. Who, who are you looking to get aggressive? What do they need to, to be looking to get aggressive? And speaking about getting aggressive here, Storm Stormer could be in a little bit of trouble. The cogs do come through. Do they have the control? There's gonna be the cookie out, and it's gonna be Sumail. He gets himself another kill on the board here. The problem will be once NGX groups up as three, three, four, and five and starts taking these big fights. Miracle. He's gonna try and get himself away, but again, that deluge just you know minimizing the amount of speed he gets from that win run. And it looks like do they get the kill into Miracle? Miracle's gonna get really darn low, and it will be Smile Knight. He picks up this kill, but do they get the kill on the Beastmaster in return? Should be well full. And now are they gonna chase for more Samel? He's using those bottle charges. He wants that mana back, but Smile Knight gonna be able to get himself away. It might be Eki the target. No, Samel he rolls himself in towards that Molten Eki. Can he get that TP away? Is there enough damage to get the kill into him? Eki's gonna go down low, but it looks like he gets himself out to Nako though. Not gonna be the same story as Samel. He will be able to pick up the kill. You know, it's very cheap as well, so uh, it's well worth looking, picking up the tickets. Why do we give Omar's camera right now? Two? Uh, no, it's like, you know, let's say he's pumping a club there. He's, he's playing Dota while he's having a you know, rave, so that's going to be like a 12 Omar? or 13 out of 10 here. As Seneko, to get the damage, you get the kill onto him. Narc's trying to get himself out, but Samail with that roll in will be able to pick up the kill. Storm Storm's going to get really down low from this one as well. Still caught in those cogs. Do they have the damage? The roll comes out onto Omar, but is he going to be able to get himself away from this? He gets that scatter blast out once again. He's going to get low. He will fall. Storm Storm picks up a kill, but now Miracle, he gets himself in with that whirlwind going. Does he get the kill onto Jibbe? Jibbe trying to get himself out of this one. The tornado connects on to. GH on the back yes. lines here, Jibe will fall. It looks like the clockwork goes down here to Stormstormer. And now that whirlwind, it is down. The rolling ball that comes out of Samail. He doesn't connect onto anyone. And the rotation comes back in. Seneca with that TP dragged back onto the Kunker. Kunker can he get himself out? It looks like the arrow. Did it connect? He gets that boat That's off. It. And Nagasar, it's a lot of damage here, but even Smile Knight rotated in. And it looks like they might be able to get the kill. Nubi gets really darn low from this one, trying to run himself out. He has that grog going. He has the Admiral's rum. It looks like overall it's not enough damage. He's on two health, but no real fall up here and Noob will be able to get the TP out. Mm. That is going to be an issue. Blade Bell is going to be the first item on Noob. Oh. Uh, it's good. Hook shot onto the creep. The Motive of Kisses is going to rain down as well. Storm Storm. He's going to be caught in a Storm of Kisses here as he goes down. It looks like Seneko needs to get himself out of this one. It's a big chase here for Samel. The arrow, though, it will point blank connect. Looks like Seneko. Does he want to go with Hastrian now as well? Eki, he's got those at least one leap, I'm pretty sure, but not in too much danger from Samel. The first item you want to pick up after boots is the Ag Scepter. It's such a exactly. big build up onto this one. The Ice Wall comes out. They have the roll, though. Have Cookie roll. out. Do they have enough damage to get the kill onto the Wind Range of Miracles? Going to get really down low. There is going to be the Death and Blast. Samel and I, he picks up that kill, but the Magnetize, it comes through once again. Samel in the middle of all this one. They do take him down. Jibbe gets a credit for kill, and now G where he's trying to get himself out with a boat. It connects into both the Morphlin and to the Marana. The hookshot. He dies before the hookshot really reels himself in. So really good fight for Avalos. A three for one. I can tell my team needs me and I can do more than the Wind Ranger right now. Oops, sorry, this, by the way. Flat. Right well, Sumail he will get the kill. The power shot came through there as well. Did you want to try and chase? He's going to be trying backing himself away. But again, that whirlwind coming in from the Wind Ranger, and it does lose that single target focus damage. But still, Sumail will get the kill into Shibe. And it looks like they might be able to go for more. Yeah, Eki caught out behind the enemy line. So, I'm going to go straight for the Aghanim Scepter. So, yeah, I thought he might have gone in for the Shivas first, but it looks like it's going to be the Aghanim Scepter. A Smile Knight going to take these Mortar Kisses once again. He's going to try and close that gap. The Adapter Strike comes out, but the Rolling Ball that comes in. Samail once again right on top of him. The arrow, it actually connects onto Samail. Just clips him, and Smile Knight's going to live for now. Do you have the follow of the Rolling Ball that comes in once again? Samail, he's going to try and get the top with the help. GH, he gets it with the Battery Assault. He will go down here. Smile Knight once again. And now the hook shot connects onto Seneko. Seneko in danger. They should be able to will be able to get the kill. GH, how many times do you see per match a, a clockwork get a double kill like that? Uh, oh. It's going to be Team Spirit, Falcons. Oh, no, they are. Yeah, they've, they've not got a roster out yet. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it's, it is going to be them, they though, as uh, Noob gets picked up. Jibig does get the credit for the kill. Much needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Morphling, yeah, he's, uh, he's, been doing really, he's been doing a really good job showing up for these fights, contributing to the team just when they get He's going to be revealed now as well. They've got oh. the EMP off onto him, but Storm Storm are caught in the cogs. It will be the song. He's going to try and get himself away from this one. Do they have the pig pole runaway? Is it going to be up with this song? Seneko just helping put that backline power shot. Miracle, he says, no way you get away from me, Storm Storm. He gets picked off wherever he was. And uh, Eki, 
Gotta get that TP up. But yeah, Miracle, he's just like, absolutely not. You stay where you are. And where you are, he's back in your box. My god, getting that kill like that. Snake will contribute, uses his ultimate, and still isn't able to save his friend. Yeah. Probably gonna lose his life. I'm surprised it wasn't just a straight up TP away from the Invoker, but maybe he was a little bit worried about power shot, and in the end, he still gets caught out by it. Arrow doesn't connect here onto Noob, it actually goes past him onto some mail. So Snake might be able to get himself away. And how much? Okay, so Mail is going to be the Tornado EMP. Do we have the damage to take it down? He pops up Lane Mail. He's a big tanky boy, but the Raw comes out. Storm Stormer. Hey, he yeah. will be able to close out that kill before the teammate TPs come in. But the Morty Kiss is going to be dropped here. There's going to be the Hookshot coming through. On to Jibbe. Jibbe can get himself away. He's going to have to walk through a couple of the Morty Kisses. But it looks like in the end, he might just be able to get himself out. No, the X mark into the bow. And he will be able to get the kill. Miracle picks it up once again. Uh, only, a, only a 900 gold away from that pipe or... Okay, Glemna comes in. He's going to try and get himself away with the illusions. The mirror image, it might be enough. Seneca, though, the X mark comes back into the torrent. We did have the damage to take him down. The hook shot, it will connect. GH, he takes down Seneco. Really good pickup here for the side of NGX once again. And okay. Really good hook shot now as well. They have a the lockdown on Smart Knight. Smart Knight can get himself away from this one. The Monty Kiss is going to rain down. Do we have a damage to go through this attribute shift? The song comes out. Smart Knight, it might just be. It will be enough to get himself away from this one. But Seneco, Jibe, they could be in trouble. Arrow coming through. What's it going to connect to? It actually connects onto the clockwork on the back lines and the rolling boulder. It splits the wickets between the two heroes. But now, X Mark coming out into the torrent. The power shot as well. Eki taking the brunt of that. Do they have the damage to try and carry on fighting this one out? Oh, the rolling boulder away. It looks like. NGX, do they just want to try and look for the disengage? They do. Smarna, he takes out Wind range of form. Shackle, it connects to some mail from the clockwork here. Power shots coming through left, right, and center. Can they get the kill? GH will fall. The Smarna, he puts himself in a big risk here with a shackle now as well. Backline damage coming through. Miracle gonna be able to worry himself in with a whirlwind. He's taking down absolutely everybody here. Jibe is gonna be full. Give him the give him the rampage here. Smarna, don't be a stick in the mud. I know he wants to keep himself alive, but still, it's gonna be Miracle trying to run him down here. Does he have enough to get this kill? The sounds comes off, the power shot, rolling ball that comes in. But he's a big tanky boy here with that full strength morph coming out. The torrent connects as well. And do they give this kill over to Miracle? Sure, you're gonna have to give him the rampage here. The Glemnir lockdown. He deserves it. He yeah. only gets the mark. Was it a little bit too late? Yes, it is too late. To Whatever, that's fine. Yeah. You could have yelled it out, made the, the highlights real. Yeah. I, I'm just gonna sulk for a little bit. Samel, he does get the kill with the help of his teams onto Seneco. With Seneco being down now, it looks like they are going to go up towards that Roshan pit. But yeah, it's looking like Avalus. They, they just can't deal with the, the speed that Angex playing with so far. In fact, well, they might be able to get the kill. No, the Stormfall coming out onto the Kunker. Song will be here. Samel trying to save his teammate. And it looks at like the Kunker. He might just live through that one. Yeah, with the room going now, as well, the Mutsukis is going to rain down. Seneco going to be in a lot of danger. That Song wears off. One more right click from anything. He's trying to get himself away. Backlines dive onto Stormstorm in this invoke. He's got that BKB going with the hookshot. It will still connect. Seneco, he will fall to Omar. Stormstorm now as well. That BKB will off. It's going to be a chase down. Stormstorm, he's just going to be able to get himself away from this one. And he heals coming through. The Glimpnir, it doesn't connect. There is going to be that leap away from Eki. So everybody but Seneco going to be able to get out alive. The Kunker did die in the end. I think he's going for the Kanda last time we checked as a miracle. He's got the Dangerous finished up. It's on the way. Oh! Good. Shackles okay. coming out now as well. Miracle has that BKB going and should be able to at least get the kill onto Eki. Can he get more from this one? Seneco going to get really down the roll. The rundown coming through as well from that win One more right click. He takes down two. Will it be three now? Smile Knight. He pops the Aegis. Storm Storm and hanging around. Going to be careful. The ice... Wall does come out here, so Miracle just gonna back himself out. Or use that PKB. We did see there as well the Invoker did go for the you know, he's got the Witch Blade up like you were talking about in the last game, so that seems to be the build coming through. Speaking about the Invoker here, Stormstorm is gonna go for the BKB TP out, but the hookshot it connects, interrupts the TP. Stormstorm, uh, he's just straight gone. Again, we are getting to the point where he could be considered scary, but he's got a lot of catching up to do compared to this Wind Ranger. And the Raw comes out. Speaking about the Wind Ranger, do they have a lockdown arrow? It's going to connect. And it looks like that's going to be a long range. Do they have enough damage to get the kill? They do. Miracle. He gives them nearly 2,000 gold for that death. Well, we'll see if it is going to uh, be able to get anything from this now that Miracle is down. I mean, he's going to be gone for 40 seconds. They're going to be able to get the dive out onto the Snapfire. It looks like, yes, Mana picks up that kill. Eki even takes down Miracle's Curry. Did he have anything on that one? I'm not sure he did. Yeah, they, they're uh, they not really making a quick go of this on the Savage Labs. But again, they have tier two towers up. It's not like the last game where they were like two racks down. And now, oh, he walks himself high ground. GH is going to be picked up as that medium fiber. What can do with this one? The BKBs come out from both sides. The boat will be here now as well. The Raw. But it looks like Seneco. Can he run himself out with that song? 
Miracle. He's going to try and go, but hookshot back lines. They get themselves on top of Stormstormer now as well. They take down Sineko. They take down Stormstormer. Can they go for more? No sex mana. Again, trying to do what he can with the wave form. He's got that strength morph coming out once again. The damage away. Is it going to be too much in that wind ranger form? I mean, Miracle's already dead, so it's the big power spike from the side of NGX. He is going to be gone while Smarnik is still here in that wind ranger form. Shackle onto the clockwork GH. This is going to be a dieback if he goes Go down as well. It. But Miracle, he wants to buy himself back into this one now. The rolling boulder. It connects on Smarnik. Smarnik killing himself away. It's going to be the double torrent coming through now as well. Omar will fall, but Omar buys right back into this fight as well. It's going to be a 3v5, but GH, he can't really take the risk to come into this one because he's on such low health. The Glemnir gets the lockdown onto the Beastmaster. Beastmaster, no way he gets himself away from this one. The lockdown with the Glemnir, the torrent connects there as well, and Jibe will fall. Five heroes still left alive on the side of GH, uh, on the side of NGX. GH did buy back. So did Miracle. So did Omar. Because they're like, yo, guys, we see Samael's not around. And I mean, they hit that 35 minute mark here. Oh, Storm sort of gets caught. Our rolling ball that comes out. He's trying to go for the TP, but the BKB is here. Omar going to get that rotation in, but the rolling ball that threw the ice wall doesn't affect some mail here. Definite Blast comes out. Storm Storm, though, he's going to be revealed by the just GA. Three heroes around Sineko trying to get in as quickly as possible. But Storm Storm with no BKB, no TP. So let's see, is he really going to be able to get himself away from this one? The hook shot connects with the tornado. It stops him in his tracks. Well GH not going to be able to get the kill here. There's going to be the Morty Kisses raining down. Storm Storm, he will still fall. That's going to be a big pickup here. He's dead for another minute on the side of NGX. You see that Noob, he's just trying to deal with the split push coming out from the Nugget Siren. And uh, Eki once again. Well, this just seems to be his default state. That's bad too. <laughs> yeah, it is. They might even be able to go on to the Beastmaster now as well. Beastmaster going to take a lot of damage from this one. Do they have it in them to get this kill? Jibe, he throws out the roar, but it looks like, well, the Cogs bouncing him around. He's still trying to run himself out. The Rolling Boulder comes in. He's going to be caught out with four heroes around him. No way he gets himself out of this one. As tanky as he is, the damage is going to be way too much from the side of NGX. So the Creep Wave, it is pushing in. They should. Okay, they have that control. They might be spending this ages right here and now. No, the double four stuff coming out. And it looks like Miracle is going to live. And now the rolling ball that comes in onto Eki. Eki is going to be a big amount of danger. The Sheba's guard is going to be popped as well. Power shot comes oh. through. Eki will live, though, if just burly. They do take down that Roche banner. Because he's the pro and those twice, like three times as much. But then they did. He's like, all right. Okay, they're going to try and take a fight from this one. The Soul Flur has been used as well from the Rana. Do they want to try and engage? It looks like it's actually the re-engage coming out from NGX. And now, well, the Rana oh, to some mail. the Storm Strike coming out as well. The boat. Is it going to connect onto anyone? The BKB is out for Storm Storm. The double boat comes through. The cannon's going to have a little bit of work Eki. on two. Do they get the kill once again? Yeah, Eki's going to have to buy back into this. And Miracle, though, that's the BKB being used on this Wind Ranger. The Whirlwind there as well. But I don't think it scouted up before the smoke happened, so they should still be able to get themselves up. into a position to get the jump out. There's going to be the, the roar coming through now, so the damage on to the Conker, the Conker. But like you say, he's caught. He's going to be turned into a statue. It's going to keep him alive now. The Magnetize coming through from Samael. And Samael, he's going to be in the middle of everybody. The song comes out. Smile Knight, that's his BKB duration coming through now as well. What can they do with this one? The TP's out. Snake are going to make sure he's the last one. Two TP out. Nothing to stop that. He will be out alive. And it looks like Eki. Well, again, he bought back. He's going to try and run himself away, leap himself away. But the chase is on now. The roar and boulder it doesn't connect but i think eki's gonna be out of leaps he's on the high ground looking to get himself away from this one nothing to interrupt they're going for this i they have time on avalus if they want to contest but not yeah. much Roshan Rogue comes out, but it looks like they're already outside of the pit here. And NGX, once again, the jump comes in. There is going to be the Magnetize coming through. Crimson Guard is going to be popping. It looks like Seneco. He's going to have to pop that song. No BKB coming out from the Wind Ranger just yet. But it looks like it's going to be the net refocused out. Thanks to that low sub, it does, does get uh, reflected there. So Seneco, no deal to get the TP. Nothing like that. Seneco will fall. It looks like Omar gets a credit for the kill. Can he go for more? The Morty Kiss is going to rain down. Stormstone, though, inside the Ghost Walk form. And Smile Knight, he pops his own BKB. Going to go for the Strength Morph. It's going to be that one. Did he get away from that one, Smiling Knight? He tries to whoop their waveform out now, but they do get a lockdown onto Jibe, and Jibe in absolute danger. Miracle gets another kill on the board. The dominating spree once again for Miracle. Go back to the Roshan, yeah, and if there's no commitment with the, the, the buybacks, you can get a free. Ooh, well, they're going to go for more here. Move the courts out. It looks like Jibe on Smiling Knight. Do they have enough well, to get a kill? He's got back. no BKB, and yeah, like you say, on well, the whirlwind, the shout shot, it does latch Smiling oh, Knight. No. He is dead for over a minute and a half here. Stormstormer has to pop that BKB, run himself away, but his teammates, the Nagasaren will be coming back alive but now this will open up at least one lane of racks um to clean up or afterwards. The game. yeah or just straight yeah. up end the game we have a minute a minute sounds like a decent amount of time in dota but the tower damage from mgx is not the highest in the world so uh, he's like, like getting through these buildings miracle you better like, oh Eki, not even in his base he's gonna be caught out and killed off 
Omo gets the credit for that one. The two supports in here. You can see they're going to try and get aggressive onto NGX once again. Pushing in. The boat comes out. But it looks like they're just going to back themselves away on the side of Avalus. But yeah, Miracle, I think he does have that Daedalus. So it's a lot of right click damage coming out from the Wind Ranger, even without the Whirlwind here for Miracle. And he will be able to deal with these buildings. In fact, they've got the lockdown. Jibe, the wave comes forward. And he's going to be caught in it now. Do we have enough with the X mark? Song gets popped for the control of the torrent once again. Jibe, it's going to be a long, hard run for him to get back to the fountain. Look at how slow he is. Now the hook shot. It's going to connect back lines. He get onto Stormstormer. I think he was aiming for Sineko, but it goes right past him onto the Invoker, and the Invoker is dead. No buyback here for the two heroes that are dead. Four seconds left on this Morphlin, but it is going to be three lanes of racks. The Mega Creep's coming out, and it looks like here, yeah, NGX have got this 5v3 advantage. You're going to try and end this game now as well. They go on to Jibby. Jibby, he's going to be taken care of. Miracle gets that kill once again. He has that buyback onto the Beastmaster, but I think this game, it is looking really hard now for Avalus, even just to come back, even just to get one pick up. It's the boats. They start to fly through, and it looks like Miracle with the BKB going in the world with inside the base to the cookie. Off. It gets him out, yeah, but they are fountain farming here on the side of Enigma Galaxy, and it looks like Smiling Knight to be forced to, to just hide inside that fountain. The damage coming through, it is just, it's it's a little bit cheeky here for NGX. You're going for those fountain dives as the tier 4 towers do still stand, but the double cookie comes out now. There's all the hook shot onto the Beastmaster. The Beastmaster caught out in the cogs. Do they have enough for the kill? It looks like it should be going down once again, and they get oh, the drag back. They take again. down Smiling Knight. Sineko, the only hero left alive. They do call the GG. Samir was in the fountain, enchants himself, rolls out and gets eaten by Omar to keep him alive. Like, we weren't able to highlight him as much, but Samir had some insane saves in this.